Okay, we are here today at CDRC, uh, Tuesday, September 14th, for um, Chairman's endorsement for the review of 44 Hillside uh, Cemetery. Um, and uh, that's the only application we have on for today. Hello, all. Susan, how you doing? Good, Sam. How are you? Fine, Dan. Good. Hello. Hello, hello. Paul is in. Daryl is in. Who is in? Uh, Dave. Paul's here. Dave Ziegler. Um, I don't know who some of the other people that are on here are. Interested uh, neighbors, I'm sure. Yeah, they're probably neighbors. And we have the building inspector, the village planner, village engineer, and deputy village attorney, and the building inspector. On. So um, I'll leave it to, I don't know, Dan, Paul, whoever wants to start. Well, I'll start. I mean, we're, we're here to um, confirm that the check prints that Dave had submitted um, in August are, are adequate and that there's no further comments. We'd like to get the site plan signed off and um, you know, conti continue with the project. So that's, that's where we are. I haven't seen any, any uh, memos from, from Valerie or, or Eve regarding their review of the check prints. I know I've seen some emails. Uh, Did you check your email around eight? 30 this morning because I got one from Eve. No, I didn't see one from Eve this morning. Um, or I got one from Susan. That... It's, the, it's the one I, I think I sent last week or while you were out yet Friday or Monday, Paul. Basically, Eve's reviewed everything. The only the only thing um, that I went back, we went to Dave yesterday on was the cost estimate form, which they're re-reviewing because it seemed kind of high, which means the inspections fees would be rather large. So they're reworking that. Um, the SWIP was taken care of and signed and signed off by the mayor. I believe we did get one report um, from Ryan, um, Nasher, I believe it was, on Sunday that went to Eve and Lou. And I forward that to you, Dan. Um, I made some minor changes to the ZBA resolution this morning and forwarded them to you, Paul, that Dan had suggested. And then I took your uh, many changes to the planning board resolution and I just did those before we walked in the door. So you probably didn't even get a chance to look at them, but okay. we can look at them after at eight, that. At 8.39, um, you sent uh, to Lou, me, Valerie, and Valerie um, the August 30th, 30th, mm -hmm. August 30th memo from Eve. Yes, that was originally sent to you, Valerie, and me, and Ryan Nasher was copied, and I forwarded it to Paul, and I think Dave the other day. Right. But what I want to make certain of is you're saying this, the SWIP was signed, but in that memo, changes had to be made. Um, were they made? Were they made to the satisfaction of Eve? Do you have the uh, revised... Uh, uh, pages uh, one through 14 of the SWIP. In other words, did since August, the August 30th memo mm -hmm. where Eve points out issues that had to be addressed and um, documents that had to be redone or resubmitted. Um, were those received? Were those reviewed? And uh, if so, yeah, uh, 
let, let, let's ask Dave. Dave. Dave, did you make a new submission? Did you did you ever see this memo? It's email from Eve on uh, August thirtieth. You're muted. Dave, you're muted. Uh, hold on. Let me unmute you. Hold on. Hold on. Dave, I believe Ryan was addressing. Yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan addressed the SWIP, made the changes, and then I believe the SWIP was signed about a week after that. Uh, there's two other things on the memo. One is the light pole base, which we did not change the plans. And the other was a question from Eve about changing the buffer to just uh, evergreens. And she left that up to Valerie. So if you make a decision on the trees, we would revise the plan for the light pole detail and the trees, and then we should be finished, unless there's other comments. Eve, did you get that revised SWIP? Yeah, the SWIP is in good shape. Okay. I don't know if it was a full submission to everyone. That's, you know, I'd have to rely on Ryan for that. Um, no. But I'm satisfied that the SWIP was okay. Okay. Can I have a copy for the file, please? Yes. Yeah, if, why don't, actually, also, why don't you just make a full submission to everyone again? Yeah, do we? Yes, I only asked for those certain pages. Right. I certainly didn't want the whole binder printed again. Right, and then I'll just replace those pages. Yeah, and exactly. I, I, have three, I have three books. Right. Yeah, I, my point is um, for the file, um, these issues were brought up. Um, and I never received anything other than this morning saying the SWIP was signed um, to indicate whether or not uh, the issues that were brought up in your memo were adequately addressed. And I don't recall seeing anything with regard to the issues uh, that were uh, raised uh, that Valerie was supposed to uh, um, so with regards to the trees, the, the site plan that, I mean, the landscaping plan that they put forth was the same way landscaping plan that they've been, that's been in front of the board and they, and their board is approved. So at this point in time, um, you know, the board approved the landscaping plan. So there shouldn't be any changes to the landscaping plan. Right. And that was just noted as a recommendation. So that does not have to be approved. It's just something for them to consider. And, and that's I, not something that needs to be on the plan. As long as it's a buffer, depending on what trees are available at that particular time when they install it, um, that's a typical type of item that's addressed during construction. No, I'm not, I'm not questioning um, whether they did it right or they did it wrong. I'm just trying to make sure that we have a record that um, these, issue were, these issues were brought up and uh, either A, discussed as we're doing right now, um, which is being taped um, for the record, uh, or that we have something in writing saying, yeah, they were addressed. They're just... Okay. I, I think we have that now. I think what we have is... Eve, Eve is okay with it. We'll circulate the revised pages. I'll incorporate that revisions into the stormwater maintenance agreement. And um, that, that issue should be resolved. So, so the only thing I see is that um, Dave has to make these changes for the uh, details for the lighting. Right. And then once the um, cost estimate is revised and approved by Eve, I'll work with Surrey uh, Cohen behind the scenes from Trodale. She's the one that sends me all the checks. I'll just tell her what's due and she'll send them to me. She's very uh, quick about it. Okay. The one question I had is in the, in the stormwater maintenance agreement, there's a provision there for some sort of an escrow. Yes. Um, do we know that amount so I can fill it in? Uh, that's Eve. 5,000. 5,000. Okay. Okay. One other item that needs to be resubmitted for when you submit for the building permit is the traffic management plan that needs to be updated based on the alternative access plan. 
It, it already has. We have we submitted a letter from Harry Baker. Mm -hmm. um, I think the night of the meeting, but I'll I'll resubmit it. That's why this folder. The traffic. Oh, I oh I the traffic management plan doesn't change. Right. So I think then can you redate that? You know, just to make sure. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll go through it and we'll just update it and make it uh, clear that it responds to the uh, the alternative yeah. access. Right, uh, and put the date, uh, the most recent date of the change that was made. Okay. Okay. All right, so then other than this one revision that Dave needs to make for the site plan, um, is there anything else that needs to be revised? Or once we submit these revised plans, we're ready for the uh, chairman to sign the plan? And Lou, did you have anything? No, I did not. Okay. Well, I think one thing um, that should be discussed um is um over the course of i believe two weeks um uh, with regard to the tree cutting that occurred on the property um uh lou you went out there yes i did Corey and i both went out we had multiple complaints about the volume of tree cutting uh, we did went out. We did go out and take. We took the uh, planned cutting map, and we matched stump by stump and did a head count on what trees were removed and which ones weren't. So they were, were working according to plan during the last time we were out. The last inspection we were out there for. All right. Um, I mean, this is for the public. Um, You wrote on July 14th that the removal of trees is to be done in conjunction with the phased construction plan to limit the total disturbed area at any given time. Was that done? Yeah, you're asking me, I was daily on the job watching how they're doing it. And it was according to exactly how we did it. Less than four acres at a time. Everything was done accordingly. And actually the site is all cleared already at this point. No, that we know. Yeah. Um, but it was and can, I, man, can I interrupt a second? This is a CDRC oh. meeting to confirm that the plans meet the requirements of the resolution of final approval. That's what we're here for. I'm not here to talk about what was cut. Well, there's, is there any enforcement issues that we need to discuss? Is there uh, a no. Okay. No. Then why, why, no. are we, why are we wasting time discussing this? Can I finish my thought? It's, I just don't know why we're wasting time. I'm here to, to confirm that the plans meet the conditions and the resolutions of the final approval. Why do we okay. need to discuss tree cutting that was done pursuant to a tree permit that was issued and it's To make sure that it was- be okay. To make because the issues were brought up, but and but this meeting is not the forum for those issues. This meeting it was not a public of, meeting. It was it's, part it's, the of the approval. This meeting is to confirm that the plans meet the conditions of final approval, and the maps and, are ready to be signed by the chairman. That's the purpose of this meeting. So I don't know what you want to discuss, but I don't really want to waste my time here at the CDRC meeting. If you've got an enforcement issue, you can leave. Okay. You can leave. I don't know why you're going somewhere where it doesn't need to go. That's not the purpose of this meeting. It's not a public forum. Uh, because uh, it is a public forum. It's not a public hearing, but the public is allowed to attend. These are That's issues right. that have been brought up. And it's not a they purpose relate, to sit here they and relate. address the public's concern. I, That's not the I issue don't... here. That's not what we're here well, for. We're not here to, to air any issues that neighbors might have over the project and to, you know, 
solve all their issues. We're here for a specific purpose. That's not where Dan, I was Dan, going. All right. No, my Dan, objection. Go ahead. Dan, Conduct the meeting the way you want. I'm not conducting Dan, the meeting. Are we, Go ahead. I'm asking you, me and you, are we okay? Did we, did we do, were we complying? I'm asking Lou. Okay, so ask Lou. Lou no problem. He answered it already. He already said he went out there. They counted the trees, stump by stump. Everything's in compliance. The number is of trees I removed is in compliance. They were all taken down at the same time, which was not such a great idea, but. Okay. I mean, are there any other issues with regard to the final site plan and the conditions of the resolution other than Eve's memo of August 30th, 2021? And, and Valerie, Valerie, I assume you're okay with everything? Valerie's okay? Yes. Dan, do you have any comments with regard to those issues? I don't know what issues in particular. With but, regard uh, to whether the, the check prints meet all the conditions so that they're capable and in a form to be signed by the chairman so that we can get our permit for the construction of the rest of the site. Okay. Um, I re I'm relying on uh, the planner, the engineer, and uh, the building inspector with regard to their areas of expertise. Uh, I did my um, uh, part with regard to uh, the resolutions. Um, just to make it clear, uh, since there were overrides, uh, uh, I think there were three comments that were um, from the GML that were overridden. Um, two. That, uh, two? Okay. Two. Even better. Number three and number six. Okay. Um, that uh, that resolution along with the uh, uh, planning board resolution, those, that, those comments related to the planning board, not the zoning board, correct? Um, the overrides? There was overrides for each and there's a resolution for each um, that I had sent this morning based on some of the comment changes that you had recommended. You wanted the override to have a signature for planning, which I added. I made all the changes that Paul suggested. If there was an override for uh, ZBA, it should also have a signature line. It, it, it does, it does. Okay. It, you I have just... approved it. Okay. Yes, there are, there are overrides for each and there's a signature for each, but I, I wanted to give Paul the opportunity to look at the Z, ZBA because he had not seen them. Um, and uh, if he had any comments on the ZBA, because I just got your comments. And then once he's okay with it, I'll have Arthur come sign that. And then the planning board, I made uh, the suggested changes of Paul and I put them in and I only sent them this morning. So I just you know, want him to look at it one last time before I ask Yehuda to come sign. And then I'll take care of those. And then um, if every, once I get all the other items, I will have Yehuda endorse the site plan. And then I would need the signature from the owner, from Sam. I'll call him over to, to come. Okay. Um, did, did, was the, uh, was the this morning or something? Was the updated cost estimate submitted yet, Dave? Uh, I think it went out about an hour ago. I'll have to check up on that. I I haven't seen it, but I was working on these changes, so I might not. I might have missed it. And then yeah. I. I, I just haven't seen it yet either, but I've been out all morning, so I'll have to check my email. And then, Paul, I'll just send an email to Surrey and copy you and Dave, so uh, and just say I need a check for X for this, Y for that, and and that's it. He's very good about sending things immediately. Okay. Okay. So we'll 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 get we'll get the revised plan submitted. We'll get the revised traffic management plan submitted. Um, I'll get the uh, modified uh, stormwater maintenance agreement submitted with, mm -hmm. the with, with, the, with, with the security 
and mm -hmm. we'll pay all the escrows and and security and mm -hmm. protection security security be paid comment. security to be paid by bank check okay And then for for the site plan, I need this at seven copies. Okay. If you need more than that, like I only give the applicant one. If he wants more than one, then submit extra because I disperse the other six. I give one to the applicant. So okay. if you want one for your record, Paul, then submit eight, or whatever. But they, they get dispersed. Town of Ramapo, 911, building inspector, village planner, village engineer, my file, et cetera. Okay. okay. Um, just for the record, did we receive any written correspondence uh, um, from agencies, uh, uh, residents? um etc um since um the uh uh meeting where this was approved that uh hasn't been referenced i have not received anything in writing i received a number of phone calls yesterday because people didn't understand why it was on the cdrc agenda and i explained they all had comments but I explained to them that CDRC is a committee meeting, that there is no public comment, that this had been approved, and all the comments were heard at the public hearing for the at Planning and Zoning Board. We did receive word from the town of Ramapo. I'm not sure of the date, um, but they did approve the off-site drainage improvement. Okay, good. I understand there's a suit being filed by Montvale Coupon. Um, uh, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know how we would know that for a fact and unless or until we actually got served with it, you, you you may be right. Um, yeah, I'm right. But, okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it, it's not something that uh, uh, I'm aware that uh, the village has uh, um, uh, been served with as of yet. Um, just as an aside, it, it's. I've noticed over my years of practice that attorneys tend to take the summer off and then all of a sudden September comes around and they start uh, filing lawsuits uh, like uh, crazy. So it wouldn't shock me. Okay. Anybody have anything else? All right, so Paul and Dave, I'll be in touch with you both. And then Sam, when I'm ready for you to sign, I'll, I have your number, I'll call you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you and, and you'll uh, you'll call the chairman. Of course, of course. Okay. But I need I need him to sign the resolutions as well. That's first, one, once I, I just want Paul to give his blessing because I made all those changes. And the site plan. I'll take yeah. a look at them as soon as we finish up here. Yeah, but I need the new site plan uh, submitted before I can have you to sign that. I'll, I'll start with the resolutions. He's coming to sign other things later today. So I told him to wait till the afternoon so that we could have these reviewed after CDRC today. And then I could at least get that portion done. And then he can come back and sign the site plan. Monday Will that give you enough time, uh, Mr. Baum, to review everything? I'm going to review everything the minute we finish here and I'll get comments to Zab within 15 minutes or so. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Thank you. I'm here all day. Thank you. Okay. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.
Have a great Thanks, day. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.